Live from the internet, it's the Dr. Tom the Frog Show! Hi-ho, this is Dr. Tom the Frog, and you are watching the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, where we sit down and talk about games. Now, tonight we have, uh, we have Josh T. Jordan from um, some, some kind of evil ginger games. Gingers are evil, isn't that right? We prefer the term sinister, but yes, g ginger goat games. Yes, that's right. Oh, you're cinnamon? Is that... mm, close enough. Oh. It's close enough. I'll have to keep that in mind, and I'll have to goat to my notes more often. I understand that you're running some type of AP festival, like an activist plague festival. What's going on with that? Well, that would be the actual play festival. This, which is to say, uh, you know, a lot of what a lot of what we're looking for is people who have recorded themselves actually playing games, and uh, posting that on their uh, on on our little website. Does uh, a frog hop count? Hopscotch, perhaps. Um, you it could count, but I think what we're looking for is anything that could be considered a storytelling game. So, and specifically anything that's storytelling that involves at least two people. So, if if you and a friend were to t record yourselves telling a story about hopscotch, that would definitely fit as a as a possible submission to actual play festival. Ah, now if. I and a friend happen to participate in Leapfrog while chanting in the iambic pentameter. Would that count? Uh, I believe so. In fact, I, I might pay good money to add such a thing to the festival. Interesting. Which is, and by good money, I mean no money, although all submissions do have a chance to win fabulous prizes. I like prizes. Tell me about mm -hmm. prizes. Uh, copies of my games like Heroin or Doll, but we've gotten a generous amount of donations, uh, things as varied as copies of uh, novels that have been published this year from uh, various generous writer friends of mine like Tristan Tarwater or Ryan McSwain, as well as things like, uh, let's see, a stand-up comedy DVD by Jackie Cation, uh, she's kind of a nerdy comic, and her latest album is entitled uh, This Would Make an Excellent Horcrux, and she has donated a copy of her DVD. Uh, then other games uh, like Slash, which is a card game uh, about slash fiction, and there are several more that you can find on the website that will no doubt come into my mind one at a time for the next two minutes. But... Uh, Lots of fabulous prizes, and uh, an obscene amount, in my opinion, which is awesome. Wow. So we're talking about slash fiction and obscene amounts of prizes, and you mentioned something about heroin. This, is, this, this seems like adult-rated content for me. <laughs> well, uh, surprisingly enough, uh, kids can participate, too. They, uh, I think I have, I have heard tell that at least one person is going to submit a recording of themselves playing with uh, their friends and their friends' kids in a in a story game. So I look forward to seeing that. So as long as you have permission to share it, uh, there's nothing that says you can't uh, do it with with kids too. All right, I'll be working on my leapfrog entry just after we finish the show. Now I've I've got a question here, Josh. Um, I understand that you are always looking for diversity, Josh, is that right? Yes, diversity. It's good. Not just morally, but selfishly, because uh, say a frog who's a doctor would be able to come up with stories that I, as a, a human non doctor, would never think of. I'm glad that you've gotten to that point. Because I want to get serious on you for a minute here, Josh. What have you done to reach out to the amphibian American community? Well, you know, uh, there have been incidents in the past where I've acted unjustly towards the amphibian American, and I, I want to first of all apologize towards that. Uh, you know, I saw I saw a frog in a pet store just today, and I referred to him very unkindly as fat, whereas I should have just said, you know, 
healthy and um, ready for winter. But, you know, other than that, I am very much open to your suggestion as to how I could reach the amphibian Americans out there. Well, we're going to have to workshop this, um, Josh. I'll, I'll, I'll get my people in contact with your people, and we'll have some kind of meeting of the minds here. Because honestly, obviously, you don't know anything about frogs. We were getting ready for hibernation. Uh, that's a simple mm -hmm. fact. I'm a doctor. I know all about these things. <laughs> sure. All right, Josh. I'm sure it is. All right, so what else have you got going on other than the the, the festival here? Any new games coming out from uh, Ginger Goat? Yes, Ginger Goat. Yes, very good. Um, not Cinnamon Evil. Uh, Ginger Goat. We actually are going to release a little game uh, in the charity anthology indie mixtape number two, which uh, Jay Walton is putting together. It's my understanding that that'll be done uh, probably in December. Um, honestly, we're still working on plugging away at some of the Kickstarter extras for Dangers Untold. Gosh, tell me, uh, what is your favorite dessert? Mm, my favorite dessert? Well, I get an awful lot of mileage out of the chocolate chip cookie, so I would have to say that I would be most hurt if that suddenly disappeared from the world. But I'm, uh, I'm uh, pretty easy to please when it comes to trying new desserts. So so if your favorite is something different, uh, I am not offended at all. Oh, oh no, I, I can deal with a chocolate chip cookie. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty much standard fare for good dessert time. So that's great. All right, well, Josh, I really appreciate you coming on to talk about the Plague Festival. I, 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 <laughs> No, wait. Oh. Uh, my assistant is no, the actual play festival. Uh, where can people find Thank out more? You. We'll have a link in the in the show. Where where can they find out more? You can go to actplayfest.org. That would be the easiest place to look for uh, everything that's going on. Um, and December first is when we start releasing the new videos. Uh, December 1st to the 15th, but we're accepting new videos anytime from now as we're recording this to December 15th. And the prizes will uh, be awarded right around December 15th. I may need an extra day if we have any last-minute awesome submissions. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming on the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, Josh. My pleasure. Just watch the Dr. Tom the Frog Show And we hope that you liked what you saw, yo But if it was a big waste of your time Well, it's free, so that's not a crime But if it was a waste of your time Yes, it's free, so that's not a crime